Hey there! In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a new Facebook account as well as how to confirm the account using your email address. So be sure to have your email address handy when signing up. Let's jump right in so we can get your account created and get you started learning all about Facebook. First things first, fill in your first and your last name. Next, choose an email address or mobile number. For this tutorial, we will use an email address that I created specifically for this tutorial. Next, re-enter that email address. Choose a password that is strong. I highly recommend that it is letters and numbers and characters and that your letters are upper and lower case. Choose a password that you will remember and be sure to write it down and keep it in a safe spot. Next, share your birthday with Facebook. And if you're wondering why Facebook would like to use your birthday, you can simply mouse over this link, click on it, and Facebook shares that by providing your birthday, it helps make sure you get the right Facebook experience for your age. Choose whether you are a female or a male, and once you sign up, you are agreeing to Facebook's terms, their data use policy, as well as their cookie use. Once you are signed up with Facebook, Facebook allows you to search your email account and find friends who might already be on Facebook. Whether you have a Gmail or an Outlook, which is Hotmail, a Yahoo, or other email service, you can simply fill in your email address and click Find Friends. For right now, we will skip this step. Now, Facebook is letting you know that usually when you put in your email address that you can find up to 20 friends. So it's asking, are we sure we want to skip? And for right now, yes, we do. Step two, this is where you can fill out your profile info. Now, if you do not wish to fill this out just yet, you can simply skip. And if you do choose to fill it out, you can fill out your current city, your hometown, your high school, your college, your employer. I do want to share with you some of these icons that you will be seeing in Facebook. And once you click on this, you either have public, friends, only me, or custom. And what these icons mean is that if you were to fill in your current city and keep it to public, then every person on Facebook and those who are not on Facebook would be able to see your current city. If you choose friends, then only the friends that you choose to be friends with on Facebook will be able to see. Only me, this keeps it private where nobody can see your current city, your hometown, your high school or anything. This is custom and in another video, we'll go into a little bit deeper into the custom. But with custom, you can add people that you would want to see your current city, or you can select those that you do not want to see your information. For right now, we're going to skip this step. And this is where you can set your profile picture. Either you can take a photo with your webcam or add a picture. Now, Facebook is telling us that there are 5,000 plus people that are named Mary Ross on Facebook. So by adding a profile picture, your friends that know you will be able to recognize you immediately. I'll show you how to add your photo as well as your cover photo in another video. For now, we'll skip this step. Welcome to Facebook. You officially have your very own account. Facebook is asking us to complete the sign up process by confirming our email address. So let's get in there and confirm our email address now. Here we are inside of my email account and I will click on the email and Facebook is telling me I'm almost done with the sign up process. I'm going to click 
confirm your account. Now you have successfully confirmed your account with that email address and now you will use that email address to log into Facebook along with the password that you used when we created the account. Click OK and you are now ready to begin using Facebook.